In the end, when it's time to harvest, I would hate for my time to be cut short because I'm so infected with sin in my life. And I don't want it to affect God's harvest. Good morning, welcome to Fisher Priceless. I just wanted to get on here really quick and share something that I felt like the Lord was um, trying to teach me uh, using my ugly potato plants. They were so pretty like the beginning of this week and all of a sudden they have like just turned yellow, wilted, brown. They have potato blight. And the rain that we got this week I was super excited about and I was thinking, you know, it's going to help my plants my plants are going to do well the humid moist conditions made the potatoes just yes we're gonna stop and smell the flowers <laughs> This is my second year doing potatoes, so I don't have any clue what I'm doing half the time, but we're, we tried it. With potato blight, pretty much if 25% of the plant is affected, then you can kind of cut those leaves off and go on and hope for the best. But the real concern is that you get into the tubers or the potatoes so that you can't eat the potatoes. Well, clearly, like 75% or more of my plants are affected. Because 75% of my potatoes are like yellow, brown spot, wilty. What I'm gonna do, since I'm already at day like 75 or something with these potatoes, I read that you can actually cut off the stems to soil level right here. Wait two weeks and then uh, just harvest. So I actually pulled up some over here. So we'll try, you see this plant, it's not, I mean, it's definitely affected, but it's not as bad as this thing. I just don't know how I, I missed all this, but I was just gonna pull it up, just kind of show you what we got under here. These are definitely small. There's not many. See, there's a few here. It doesn't look like they're infected. It looks like they're healthy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give them two more weeks to grow because these are healthy. And um, they'll get they'll get bigger. And one thing they said next year when I do this, I need to make sure that I don't like leave any potatoes in here because the infection will spread. And I also have some in the backyard that are doing really good. So maybe I can go ahead and harvest these in two weeks because it'll be like if we gave it 10 days we'll be at day 90 anyway and then with these red potatoes it said 90 to 100 days so i was um thinking about these potatoes and figuring out exactly what i needed to do I'm glad i got a game plan now but it did remind me of some things i'm dealing with in my own life right now and i feel like the lord's kind of gently disciplining me as a as a father and I have definitely felt his goodness from the gentle discipline that he gives and one thing he's been showing me lately is that my love for people is not like his love for people I thought I loved people I thought I was kind I thought I was doing good but I still struggled with some heart issues that made me bitter, that made me angry at times, it made me annoyed, uh, it definitely gave me the wrong attitude to have. And I would go and I'd share that with some of my good friends, and then I could see their, their attitudes kind of get in the same way. And it reminded me of these potatoes, and how, how quickly a little, a little disease, it's not that big of a deal, it's just 
a little negative in your life, but that little sin, the sinful attitude can in turn grow and grow fast. I mean, they said within like two or three days, this thing can take out your whole potato. Like, I mean, all, and that's kind of what happened. Like all the potato plants, look how closely they are. And I have so many close friends that, yes, you need somebody to confide in, but you need to examine your heart. And I was not examining my heart. I was not coming out looking at the spots, at the yellow spots, at the brown spots, at the wiltiness in my life. And yes, I still struggle. I'm, I'm struggling daily uh, with loving, loving others like Christ would, but he commands us to do that. And if we are not quick to prune away the little tiny leaves that he knows is going to infect our hearts and in turn, affect those closest to us. In the end, when it's time to harvest, I would hate for my time to be cut short because I'm so infected with sin in my life. And I don't want it to affect God's harvest. As Christians, we are called to go out, preach and teach. And if we are struggling with sin in our own life, Sometimes, as little as it may be, it quickly infects the whole plant, infects the whole person, and then in turn affects those that are closest to us. I guess God has shown me that I need to be diligent with the, the negatives, the sin in my own life, and allow him to go ahead and prune those things away. Thankfully, um, when you ask him to help you see those things, he, he will do that. And one thing that I've realized is how gently he does that. So in conclusion, I just wanted to share that God disciplines because he loves. He knows what that sin will do in our life. He knows how bad that sin can uh, give a foothold on, on other things in our life and how it can in turn affect other people in our life. So just like I look at my children and I see the effects that like junk food has on them and their even their physical health um, and I tell them no we shouldn't eat that no let's not give in to too much of that because I know that in the end it's gonna cause other issues physical issues that may be bigger may cause more infection may cause cancers down the line and I see that and I think for the most part you know kids they just have to trust parents. And I feel like with God, I'm some of the, the sin that I've been dealing with, I didn't think was a big deal. But he has clearly shown me what a big deal it is and how important it is to take care of those things in my life. So listen to the Holy Spirit. He, he is there for us. He was given to us to guide us, help lead us in this, this world that is uh, very sinful and crazy and very confusing at times. Uh, but I'm so thankful for my, my father who gently disciplines and guides me in all things so that I don't have to deal with light in my own life. Hello. My husband's trying to be quiet while I'm doing this video because we're about to go on a date. It's funny. Thank you.